हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास दिस इज लास्ट क्लास इन इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन टिल नाउ इन इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन वॉट टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी लैंड वी लैंड हाउ टू प्रूव गिवेन फंक्शन इज स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग फंक्शन How to prove given function is strictly decreasing function on a given interval or on a given set? And we learned that for what values of x the given function is strictly increasing, for what values of x the given function is strictly decreasing. In this class, what are the problems we are going to do? Prove that the given function is strictly increasing on i. You observe. Prove that this function is increasing on r. How to prove given function is increasing on a given set? you observe this the interval in which the function is increasing so this is the last class of increasing and decreasing functions in next class we are going to learn about approximations till now whatever the videos i did i'll give that videos link in the cards before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class please observe this question number 15 what they are asking let i be any interval disjoint from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 i'll tell you what is this i first we'll try to understand what they are asking prove that the function f given by this is the function they given is strictly increasing on i first i'll write what is i what is i you observe the question i be any interval disjoint from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 that you can write like this what they are saying about i i is any interval disjoint from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 you can take any interval on this part you observe this red color one this is i i is a interval which is disjoint from closed interval minus 1 comma 1 so this i can be written like this open interval minus infinity to minus 1 union Open interval one to infinity. What is the given function? F of x is given as x plus one divided by x. Now you differentiate this. F dash of x. F dash of x. That means derivative of this part. That is nothing but derivative of x plus derivative of one by x. Derivative of x is what one plus derivative of one by x. What is derivative of one by x? Derivative of one by x is minus one divided by x square. Okay. If I simplify this, what I'll get? X square in the denominator. In the numerator, what you will get? You will get x square minus one. You observe, I got a f dash of x. I need to check this f dash of x is strictly greater than zero on i or not. You observe here, for any real value of x, this denominator x square is always positive. You can observe on this interval i, zero is not there. So if you take any x value in this interval then x square is clearly positive now this f dash of x is positive or negative depends upon this expression if x square minus 1 is positive then this whole expression is positive if x square minus 1 is negative then this whole expression is negative this x square minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 into x minus 1 divided by x square so here first i'll i by by using wavy curve method i'll try to identify when this expression is positive you see here this is product of linear factors na you equate each term to zero if i equate x plus 1 to zero i'll get x equal to minus 1 that is marked on the number line if you equate this to zero you will get x equal to 1 that is also marked on the number line as per wavy curve method we can say that when this expression is positive when this expression is negative wavy curve method says that after writing the critical points in the rightmost corner you keep plus and then write alternate symbols so it is very clear that this expression is positive in this interval if you want you take any one number in this interval you substitute in this definitely you are going to get positive only in the same way you take any x value in this interval substitute in this expression this is going to be positive only so the point is here If I take any x value in this interval i, x square is positive. So here, so I came to know that this expression is positive when x value is in this interval and in this interval. You can observe this is same as i. I hope you are understanding. So whenever this expression is positive, this is clearly positive. Na then f dash of x will be positive. Strictly increasing means f dash of x is greater than zero. So what I can write here, f dash of x is greater than zero. This is greater than zero for all x belongs to open interval minus infinity to minus one. Union one to infinity. Therefore, f dash of x is greater than zero for all x belongs to i. You look here. What is i? Here, this is i. Okay. 
what they are asking f of x is strictly increasing on i na? so i got that f dash of x is greater than 0 for all x belongs to i so i can write that from this i can write that f of x is strictly increasing on i i hope you understand you observe this question prove that the function given by f of x equal to this is the given function is increasing on r when i can say the function is increasing function on real numbers this is not strictly increasing this is increasing so if i can prove that this f dash of x is greater than r equal to 0 for all x belongs to r then i can say that this function is increasing function in r so what i'll do first i'll take the given function what is the given function given function is x cube minus 3x square plus 3x minus 100 this is the given function you differentiate this what is f dash of x derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 3 into derivative of x square is 2x 3 into 2x is 6x plus derivative of 3x is 3 now you can observe i can take 3 common you take 3 common what you will get 3 times of x square minus 2x plus 1 so that equal to 3 times of x minus 1 whole square see this x square minus 2x plus 1 is there now that can be written as x minus 1 whole square now the point is here whole square is there now so x minus 1 whole square is clearly positive and when i take x equal to 1 this x minus 1 whole square will be 0 whatever real x value you take whatever real x value you take f dash of x is strictly greater than 0 there is a chance that this equal to 0 also if you put x equal to 1 this will become 0 so f dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to r so what they are asking in the question prove that this function is increasing in r when i can say the function is increasing on r if f dash of x is greater than or equal to 0 then i can say that the function is increasing increasing in r therefore f of x is increasing on the set r i hope you understand this you observe the question you need to find the interval in which the given function is increasing that means you need to find for what values of x dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0. Given function is y equal to x square into e power minus x. You differentiate this with respect to x on both sides. dy by dx equal to how to differentiate this right hand side part uv formula. So what you will get x square into d by dx of e power minus x plus e power minus x into d by dx of x square that equal to x square into derivative of e power minus x you imagine this minus x as x chain rule differentiation imagine minus x as x it looks like e power x derivative of e power x is e power x so derivative of e power minus x is minus x into derivative of minus x derivative of minus x is minus 1 chain rule differentiation knowledge is needed e power minus x into derivative of x square derivative of x square is 2x okay you can observe here e power minus x is there here also e power minus x is there i'll take e power minus x common if i take e power minus x common what i'll get here you see minus 1 is there here x square is there minus x square plus 2x here inside the brackets here minus is there no? so it is not looking good what i'll do i'll take minus common then what you will get this equal to minus e power minus x into x square minus 2x you please try to understand in this i taken minus common that minus i written this minus x square plus 2x will become x square minus 2x what i am trying to find i am trying to find that for what values of x dy by dx is greater than r equal to 0 if i simplify this further what i'll get minus e power minus x into in this x square minus 2x you take x common then what you will get x into x minus 2 so this can be written as minus e power minus x into x minus 0 into x minus 2 what is this this okay i got dy by dx okay i need to find for what values of x dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0 first you observe i can easily say when this expression is positive when this expression is negative by using wavy curve method okay and you see e power minus x is always positive it never be zero also it never be negative if you want you take some x value and you can check e power minus x is always positive see if i equate this to zero you will get x equal to zero x equal to two look here x equal to zero x equal to two in the rightmost corner you write plus and then alternate symbols now it is clear that whenever i take x value in this interval 
then this expression is positive and this is clearly positive this problem will become interesting because of this minus this expression is positive na? when i multiply with this negative quantity this total will become negative because of this minus this expression is positive in this interval na? now this expression is negative in this interval if you want you can check by taking some example in this interval 3 is there you take 3 in place of x you write 3 3 minus 0 is 3 into 3 minus 2 1 this is positive when i multiply with minus minus 3 see here that's why this is negative i hope you are understanding in the same way this minus is then this minus changes to positive in the same way this positive changes to negative what i am trying to say i am trying to say that this expression is clearly positive now this whole expression is positive when x is in this interval this is open interval 0 comma 2 when i put x equal to 0 you can observe this whole thing will become 0 when i put x equal to 2 then also this whole thing will become 0 uh, in what interval this function is increasing they are saying that means dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0 so here i can write that f of x is increasing function increasing on closed interval 0 comma 2 you can observe here in the options closed interval 0 comma 2 is there actually closed interval 0 comma 2 is not there it's okay no problem but if you observe this open interval 0 comma 2 is there na? In, in this closed interval 0 comma 2 open interval 0 comma 2 is a part so it can be understood that option d is the right option if you like this video please drop a like for this video and share this video with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye